Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Woodfield's food review. Kind of work there. Today we are at Taco Bell to try brand spanking new one dollar items. They are the damn it. chicken enchilada. Grande burrito. I know there's a grande in there. And then the other one, I don't know, a triple nacho or something? I don't know what the other one's called. Triple nacho? Sure. I don't know. There are two new grande burritos on the dollar menu. And they look like they're pretty big for a dollar. Yeah. I've been a little under the weather the last few days, and I don't know what it is, but my go-to food, when I'm under the weather and I'm starting to kind of feel a little better, it's Taco Bell. I don't know if it's because spicy. it's spicy or because it, it, it's nostalgic, it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, or it's just that good. Maybe a little bit of all of that. I'm eager to feel a little better with a little down-home cooking with Taco Bell. <laughs> they marked I them think, all the same, so I have no idea what's what. That. So this is the first bite of the grande chicken enchilada thing, one dollar Taco Bell. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. It does taste like chicken enchilada. Got rice and shredded got, chicken. Well, it's got that shredded chicken in there, the cheesy rice which is really good, and that red sauce. I mean, it's basic, but it tastes exactly like what it's supposed to be, and it's really good. Yeah. It's real soft. The chicken, that tastes better than, because they, they used to, I used to love little chicken soft tacos. Yeah. Then they changed it. Yeah, it was all just like shredded chicken. The shredded chicken. Now this is the shredded chicken, maybe it's just because it's getting a little marinated by the red sauce. It makes it a little more flavorful. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the, the new shredded chicken. I gotta go back to those chicken chunks. At least have the option, you know, have two different ones. I don't like the, the soft taco with the shredded chicken either. Oh, that rice is good. Yeah, it makes it filling. See, that hits the spot. Oh, so good. I haven't eaten properly in one whole day. <laughs> so now this is the beef one. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't either. Mm. Mm. I like that one a little bit better. Yeah, I agree them. The it's, cheese is more nacho cheese. Yeah, as I say, I think it's a nacho cheese sauce as yeah. opposed to sh like. I guess that might be some kind of sour cream in there too, or something. I got mm. something in there. Something. Oh, and it's got the little the little chip thing. Little crunchy chips. Heavy cumin taste in that beef. Mm. Yeah. So, oh man, it's a dollar. Yeah. They're both very filling. They're definitely worth a dollar. Man, this thing's a dollar. I, don't, I think it's a limited time dollar. Four bucks. We got like two pounds worth of food. It's yeah. tickling my doing that weird thing. Mm -hmm. Whereas the chicken one relies on the sauce, the red sauce for flavoring of mm -hmm. the chicken, and it is good. And the honestly, as good as the chicken is and the red sauce, I actually thought the cheesy rice was the winner. Was the standout component of the component enchilada one. This one. There's a bunch of things that stand yeah, out. Yeah, and that beef is so good with the cheese sauce. Well, the beef is also very seasoned, whereas the chicken wasn't. It relied on the sauce. This has very heavy, it's not even like a normal Taco Bell seasoning. And I've had it on their stuff before, but it's not the norm. And that nacho cheese just... I love their nacho cheese sauce. It's my favorite. No way you'll ever say this is dry. Uh-uh. The well, other one could be. It could be if they don't... Don't put enough red sauce on it or cheese yeah. sauce, whatever they put. I'll just say, for a dollar, both of them you can't lose. Mm -hmm. But if one has to lose... The chicken. The chicken one lost. But uh, there's no loser here. No. There's no loser. Just our waistline. <laughs> so, no, there, I don't think there's anything that you can't really go wrong. But if you do prefer a non seasoned this is definitely spicier. Yeah. This one's spicy. The beef one's spicier, a little, a lot more seasoned. The cheese is spicier. And if, you, if you're not like, you know, I don't want anything hot at all, go with the chicken one. You'll be A-okay. Yeah. But if you want one a little more kick, a little more flavor... I say this is the way to go. I think that's a 4.5. This is a it's five. five. Yeah, I agree. For a dollar, if you buy yourself, you get three of these, you're, you're going to be full for three bucks. Yeah. You can't say that about a lot of places. So anyway, guys, this is what we think. Let us know what you think. Did you even hear about these things? If you didn't and you just heard about it now, you're going to run out. And this is going to be your New Year's resolution to follow whatever we do culinarily. That's your resolution. If we try and say it's good, you got to go out and try it. Yep. Go. We're making your New Year's resolutions for you now. Right now. Also, we got all kinds of cool stuff with the channel. Of course, we're doing the, our little cook to eat videos, which are just recipe videos. We have a copycat recipe. We just got one of the main ingredients for the Baja Chalupa copycat recipe. That'll be coming up very, very soon. We have a New Year's Eve special live stream that we will be doing on New Year's Eve. It was <laughs> seemed like it'd be a weird title otherwise. So going to be special about it? That it's New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. <laughs> yeah. We haven't done live stream in months. So this will be that'll be fun. So if you guys are around on New Year's Eve, want to celebrate the New Year with us, we'll be online streaming and eating. Not sure Not what we'll be it. eating. No. Probably get a pizza or some beer and champagne. It's gonna be a hell of a time. Well, that sounds good. I want pizza, beer, and champagne. Pizza, beer, champagne. So if you want to be part of that, what feels food if you live stream New Year's Eve. 
Um, but tons and tons of content on, we even have a new one, Made Famously, unless it's already taken, then I'm going to change it, that we're going to do really famous recipes from famous chefs, like we were looking at Julia Child's one and a Gordon Ramsay one. So we got all kinds of cool shows coming up, and then 2019 is going to be very busy, going to be lots of, I see car reviews, and people are like, what well, are you going to review, like the new, the new Prius? <laughs> no, food reviews in the car, a lot of vlogging, taking you to restaurants that we have locally, maybe some travel stuff, as well as copycat recipes, regular recipes, famous recipes, and we also have a little little sit down that we're going to be doing once a week, and we're going to do little unboxes and boxes and <laughs> challenges and fun stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season, and if we don't see you before the new year, then I hope you have a great new year, and I hope you all come back many, many times in 2019. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Put your words in the comments below. But if you want to do all that other stuff, you can follow us on Patreon. There's going to be a lot of more sign I say that, but I'm starting to finally, with the new equipment and everything, I'm starting to streamline it. So it makes sense. So thank you guys. Anyway, until next time. Look, I can't do my normal little thing. Life short. <laughs> Eat hard. We reversed Life, that. No. <laughs>